Okay, so Malcolm, look. Dirtiest angle you can get. Yeah, that's don't worry about it. This is not we're not trying to make you famous or not famous. Oh, right? my house not looking like a you'll see the forest. You skip the whole thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We you better get another table or whatever have you. Listen, I just want to ask you one specific question. I get nuts. Well, that's a long question. We're in Oroville. Uh, and you've been here for a while. Yeah. Now, you're a New Yorker. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you stupid questions. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> but my question really is uh, about, or I have a friend. Uh, family, anyway, uh, uh, there's schools in Oroville. Well, explain what Oroville is. Let's just put it that way. What Oroville is. Yeah, it's a universal city, but I mean, explain yeah, that a little like bit. it's like an international township. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's like a, uh, it's like a commune, kind of. Yeah, yeah, um, hippie, hippie, yeah, commune. hippie commune, um, but very, uh, I would say it, it gets kind of modern and it's, it's not so, it's not centered around a, a single living person. It's not like there's like a cult leader or something like that, but mm -hmm. it, it is a spiritual town that has like a belief system. It's not, not that rigid either. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of, uh, yeah, but they, they're really much, they, they're pretty much down with nature and, um, they have like, they got like, oh man, I, what number? Yeah. I don't, don't want to. Don't start me the line, but it's like a ridiculous, like over a hundred patents on new, like uh, eco-friendly uh, yeah. technologies from like architecture to like food to waste management to water management. Yeah, the whole like, waste management and and, and it's all bananas. Like they like so really, this place is a really revolutionary place. It's just, mm -hmm. It just doesn't really market very well because it's the its basic thing is like you know community and. Uh, you know, all, all this stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's like a communist. It's, it's, it's a kind of, it's not a closed community. People come in. Most of the people that are living here are not part of the community or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's with tourists and work, you know. A lot of the, tourists come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's season is like, like, like September through, like, uh, yeah. February or something like that. Yeah, yeah, like around August, it starts kind of, you know, people start trickling in. And then, like, by March, it starts getting, you know, start trickling out. So the summer's, like, ridiculous hot, mm -hmm. 100,000 100, degrees. Yeah, I was uh, here for the summer. I like. I, I actually, well, it didn't bother me that much, you know. Yeah, I mean, nah, you, you, I got used to it, uh, and that's when I learned. Honestly, living here is when I learned what my hair was for. Actually, when I learned that our hair was like perfect for that type of weather, you know, uh, like uh, you, you sweat and then your hair just drinks it up like a tree and it, like flourishes here, mm -hmm. and it protects you from the from the sun. Yeah, yeah. You know, I didn't know this. I didn't know any of this. I'm, I'm used to like having frizzled, uh, crunchy, you know, unhealthy hair because I was living in the coast. Yeah. I got um, Anyway, yeah. So this place is that. Um, yeah, it's like somewhere. It's it's, it's still India. It's India, say, in the middle of India, or in the bottom of India. But a very, very South India is very, very Indian. South India is very uh, not so saturated with like Western stuff. You go to North India, Delhi, and all that stuff. It's basically, just Americans with you know with yeah, Indian accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, like here is very, very Indian. Auroraville is like this pocket of a village neighborhood. I don't know how far it is all the way across. Maybe like just a few miles across, like diameter, mm -hmm. um, where where you would call the central Auroraville because they got pockets in here. This is a pocket. Mm -hmm. But um, they also have a lot of they they they're, they're very what, vegan friendly uh, and yoga. Or they have all all types. Yeah, all these healings, of, all types of healings. They got sound healing. They got physical healing. They got like I love this. When I first came twenty years ago. That's when they first, I first saw, it, they, they first started that sound bit. We had the bit, they had the, the ah, string. Yeah, 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 yeah. Farm, right? Yeah, yeah. That, when That's I first had it, I was here when they first did Really? That. that was 20 years ago? Yeah, man. Man, I just, I tried it maybe seven years ago. I thought that they had just broke it out. But yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's, damn, I didn't know it was that old. That's, that's, that wasn't too deep. How'd you, how'd you that like That was crazy, man. Hmm. At that time, uh, yeah, and I got the guy, the main guy, um, uh, Fabio. It was not Fabio. <laughs> There's no real Fabio. Anyway, like the main guy for Swarm, so he knows how to play it, and like, yeah, like, it's very interesting. I've heard later on that, like, they got other people who play it, and I guess it's, I guess it is like an instrument, because if you don't like the way they're playing it, then it, it ain't gonna feel right. Mm. I found it very interesting. Mm. I, I thought, what I would have liked, that one of the feelings I had was like, I wish it was like a waterbed on top of it. I think mm. that would have added, like, some sort of dimension to it. But, uh -huh. um... Yeah. Well, um, you're you're an Oracle. You you could do you could do it yourself. You that's, know true. I mean? that's you true. You can make it own. own. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. I had a good experience last night because I with uh, with the with the uh, with the theater people. Mm. I gave them a, a workshop. Yeah. Uh, Yatra. Yeah. yeah. Yatra worked. They they were really they were very receptive. They would they'd never seen anything like it like that. And now I feel like uh, I want to I want to start coming. I want to come back. I want to come back, uh, but I want to do like three months out of the year, 
been in India and the other months I've been in, in Southern Africa. Mm. I stay away from the States. You, you from New York, right? Yeah, that's where my people are, so I got to keep going back. You know? Oh, so man, how often do you have to go back? I don't have to go back. I don't really ever have to go back. They buy me a ticket. It's like, hey, man. See, I'm the same way. My sister <laughs> bought me a ticket, you know. But then again, I, I'm trying to avoid it. Any, any, anyway. But, but my, I'm, I'm going between southern, southern um, Africa, or well, you know, South Africa and uh, and India. I want to come back here a lot more, at least three months, and do some healing. And also, what I find here, because there's, there's, there's very, well, the crime is not, not bad. Mm -hmm. There's no crime really, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's more peaceful. I mean, you know, yeah. you really, you really can can do some sort of therapy. Uh, yeah, your, you can uh, concentrate even if yeah. you're not on even if you're not on a healing journey. You're mm -hmm. just coming here and being in an environment where you're not being no, you know bombarded with all these like distractions mm -hmm. and and it's just not being around stressed people just in general. Yeah, like that's the, that's a the air that's is different. different. Yeah, uh, yeah, the air is different. Yeah, that's just my mind. The air is different. So that's what the mother says, a place of concentration. Yeah, yeah. So whether or not you want to, you come here, you have whatever revelation you need to kind of have. And it's not an aspiration to have a revelation, but like you, you will be with yourself, you know? Um, yeah, anyway, so it's, it's pretty nice for that. And I think, I think uh, one of the hardest things to adjust to is that, actually, because... There's no distractions. There's not many distractions. You're dist at first, you're overwhelmed because it's India. And it's cows and poop and, like, dogs and chickens and, like, all this randomness. People driving, like, people driving with their eyes closed. It's just, it's just calamity, you know? But then but then you get used to all of that. You get used to the food, you know, the, the spices and the stuff you don't understand. Once you get used to it, it's really, really just kind of flat. And that, that like now you're now you're in the real you know the real journey of having to deal with yourself. You gotta go through those those shadows. It's, a, it's an interesting experience coming here, and it's not it's, it's not the it looks it looks accessible because Oroville is accessible. Oroville is like friendly. Everybody there is like you know happy to see you and engaged and enthusiastic about life or whatever. But uh, it's it's a challenge. It's a challenge because there's no there's no cl there's no clubs. It's like one movie theater. Uh, all you really got is restaurants. If you're really in the food, is yeah. here. But like, if you, well, you can only to... run down to Pontecherry and get some clubbing. Yeah. yeah, but even then, it's like it ain't like like if you if you yeah, got any yeah. type of club experience, yeah, it's okay, like right. oh, right. it's just okay, like anybody touches, like it's just strange. Might as well chill in my living room. Well, let me ask you this: you you um now you have you have a child. So what's it what's it sort of like uh, 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 children growing up in or it seems like the the, ch the Honestly, child yeah, friendly man, I was, I was schools very, here and everything like that. I was very jealous, like. Before we even I, we even had her, uh, I was just hearing about what it's like to grow up here as a kid. Just seeing kids, super jealous, man. I'm very jealous of how these kids are growing up here. I mean, they feel. I mean, the, one of the issues is I would say, uh, like what I just mentioned, is like there might be like, there might be like a lack of stimulation or like that feeling of uh, like. But but that's just where I'm coming from. That's the thing is I'm I'm used to New York. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to New York. I'm used to like walking around with. A giant book bag that's bigger than me, and like you know, up the hill and up through the bus, and dealing with like real life and like having to deal with real life situations. So that gave me like, that gave me like a you know, it's the school of hard knocks on the way to the school, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's bullies. There's all these like systems that I have to learn how to like navigate, which gave me a lot of resilience, you know. And here you don't get that kind of resilience because you're you're, you're safer here. You're 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 connected with nature. They they help you connect with your body. You connect more with the parents with you, with your parents because sometimes the parent you can be in the school if you want to. I could I could teach at the school if I want to. You know I can mm -hmm. I can go through the steps. And even my daughter like she she had this thing uh pre crush crush. I never heard this word crush before I got yeah, here. It's kindergarten. It's yeah. like kindergarten. But then they, I think after day, daycare, really, no. yeah yeah pretty much right 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 right. So uh, uh, so yeah I was there I was there with her for like I mean. You know, a year when she went in there and I would, I would go there we sing the songs I'd be on the playground with these other kids and the other parents and then only recently that it's like okay well now we need them to like just be the kids and the teachers so the kids can interact with each other and uh, yeah you can say extremely engaged with the kid if you want and life is so easy here so easy to live you don't need you, you can and there's no homeless like the only homeless is, is like choosing to be homeless you know it's a gypsy community or whatever but for the most part everybody's not even for the most part I mean People come here out of nowhere and they find a place to live. It's one of those kind of magic mm -hmm. things that happens. Um, so yeah, living here is extremely easy. Food is very cheap. 
taxes. Is, yeah, food you know, is cheap. And, and, well, and you know, that's what I'm In South Africa, it's the air time. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the internet here, mm -hmm. uh, just the access seems like, ooh, you can, you can gigabyte forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You pick the right spot, especially if you're going to one of these cafes. It's, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The hookup is right. Problem is, you got like power outages, but even then, you just get a backup battery. It's like mm -hmm. you're not even in the same country. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, and then the, the education is cool. They really, they really, they're, they're very, all of the all of the teachers, all of the different schools that I've seen, there's not so many. It might be like, I think there's less than 10, but all the way up to, uh, from, from, from baby till, you know, high school. You know, that, that's, that's it. I told it, I did a thing at future school when I was here. Oh, you yeah, yeah, you told a future yeah, school, yeah, right. Yeah. So there's future school and last school. I think those are the two, like, high yeah, school, high school yeah. these ones, right? Um... But you know, a school I like is is a new creation. New creation, because, yeah. Because they start with they, they they speak Tamil. Yeah. And then they, then they go to French. Yeah, yeah. Then they go to English. Yeah, so by the time yeah. you go to that thing, you you're you're yeah, fluent in Tamil. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. New creation and, is nice, and they do all the art projects and like oh, yeah, yeah they, they really explore. They really focus in here on not killing the child. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The 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 innocence and the. And the creative sphere, like cult, cultivating that, nurturing it, so they follow it up. And what you see is, you see, um, what you see is, when 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 people have grown up here, there is like a strange enough. Because I'm growing up in I'm growing up in New York. I'm growing up in like, go get it, like hustle mode around. Like you late, you always late. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a push shove type of thing. But even even with that energy, that's kind of made me jittery, I guess. These people, they don't get jittery. What they get is like just a, a strong, uh, like they get they get a strong energy that they can like channel into something that they care about. Hmm. And Orville kind of Im imbibes you, imbues you with this feeling of like responsibility to the world, hmm. you know, which I was not given. I was given like make it work for me or whatever. And it like because of that motivation, it gives them this ambition that even when they're doing something like we just came from 73, like, mm -hmm. like uh, you know, this uh, fast food place, mm -hmm. even that has like uh, a method, a uh, 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 philosophy behind it and like a, a standard of way that they're going to do things, that they're going to serve people. It's always in the state of serving. Mm -hmm. They don't even necessarily know that they're doing it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They, but anything that's out of congruence with this kind of, these values, they don't really, they don't even mess with it. It's a very... It'll get you healthy. The, uh, the flip side of that is anytime they're doing something that they might feel is not, anytime they feel like they're not contributing, they feel, uh, this is just my observation. It's a very good one. Uh, anytime they feel like they're not contributing, they feel like, they feel that pressure of the world in a sense, you know? I don't understand. Like, um, I'll, give you an, I'll give you a perfect example. I'm Malcolm, right? Mm -hmm. So for the longest time, anytime I was not fighting the struggle, I would feel like a sellout, right? Mm -hmm. I would feel the pressure. Mm -hmm. I even coming out here, like for the first few years, it's like survivor's guilt, you know? Like, oh, I'm peaceful, and I'm like, uh -huh. like wow, there's no struggle. Like, did I just did I just escape and then I left everybody behind? You know, that feel that pressure of like abandoning my responsibility to the world. Yeah, especially with a name like Malcolm. Yeah, I'm like, you're branded. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck, I'm trapped in it. So, well, like, see, oh, there's no shame with a Malcolm shirt on, man. <laughs> yeah. Driven. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's a nice shirt. Where'd you get that from? My brother bought it for me. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what, what does your family say about you being here? What did she ask you that? I mean, it, I mean, my mother came out here a couple times. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. They, they, I don't know. Because <laughs> I left, too, too, I left peaceful for them. I, mean, I don't know. I, I left New York when I was like seventeen, mm -hmm. and I just had moved around the states. And then when I was twenty-seven, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I've, I've complete. I didn't complete it. I didn't get married in Vegas, and I didn't go to Hollywood. And I was just like, kind of just over it. So I just left. Mm -hmm. you know? So I think, I think probably up until the last couple of years, or last year or so, they they were just expecting me to come back. You know? uh, I it was like an excursion or something. But, um, yeah, you know, I didn't have a baby. But, but they, were, they were sadly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and I do want to go back. I want to see them, you know. I do. I do. And even the, even being out here, being, you know, being the only black guy, being the only, uh, one of the only Americans, uh, it's, uh, I, I feel off my course. I know that's not what's happening, right? But the feeling of belonging, I just do not get to have it. 
I'm two feet taller than everybody. I speak perfect English. My English is, I'm a poet on top of that. So my English is like, uh, my and values. You're, you're about to be super famous because you 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 just formed a band. Yeah, that also. Oh, I'm, singing, I'm super talented. I'm like out. I'm extroverted. I got you know all this stuff going on. You know, um, black baby, black white. Like I'm, I'm I got all of these like things going on with me that don't have any context here. Don't have the proper context. So I don't feel belong like the, the tribe thing. I really have to dig deep into a, the the like like the spirit of a person to connect with somebody. So that gave me that skill. Like I you know deeply feel. I don't the clothes of culture and and you know uh, a likeness. Mm. All these things. They, I don't have those. So mm. what I have to do, in order to, to be in love to, to make friends, I have to see beyond all of these things. You know, which is you know I. I'm grateful for that, but at the same time, like I miss my people, man. You know, I, I miss, I miss having people around that that are like just down for me, and they, there's like a history of me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And and as like when when I speak, there's a context that I don't have to explain yeah, and exactly, all this stuff. Exactly. So so I miss it. I, I think like dipping in and out. Like I get a little bit of that in South Africa, you know, um, but but it's weird because. Everybody's black, so I don't miss that part of it. Right, that. right. You, you got at least you got. To, <laughs> I got the middle of you know. <laughs> but the, the cultural thing, I, I know, you know, the speaking. But then everybody's watching TV. They're trying to talk. Ah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, that. It, it comes it becomes a mess. One tiny thing about this power outages in South Africa, we got load shedding. We got power outages. Yeah, you only have like fifteen minutes. What Whatever. you mean, 15 minutes, man? We'll go days. I don't see that. I don't, I don't hey, man, well, hey well, congratulations, man. I'll oh, tell man, you, maybe, man, that fan go out. That fan go out. It's a deadly situation. You, see, oh, you, I'm not, I'm you hear the silence. Up. You hear the... Like, it'll wake you up out your sleep. That's a really? nightmare. 100 degrees, power goes out. Really? I didn't know that. Because mm -hmm. I, I guess I have, we have a power backup uh, where I am. The guest house I'm staying at. Yeah, yeah, you know they, they that, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. people wise the neighborhood's getting better, but I live I live in a I live That's in a right. situation. You live you live in the backwater. Where are you going, man? You know, this trail, that trail. Uh, uh, you know, I take people in that way when I don't want them to know where I live, so they can't find their way. <laughs> I'll take you out the right way. You see me like oh, you're going near, near me. But I wanted you to see what this place actually looks like. This is what the yeah. village looks like. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is act behind the trees. Is these villages with no irrigation and no, uh, no, you know, some of them ain't got bathrooms and uh, all this stuff. Uh, undocumented people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Undocumented. Yeah, because ain't nobody, ain't nobody checking. It's wild, wild country. So, mm -hmm. but you know, Orville. What I like about this place, what I like about staying in this neighborhood. The whole time I was staying in Orville for like five years, you know, mm -hmm. staying with Elaine and, and like all the people that she knew, and you know, they embraced me, you know. Uh, but then I moved to the village, became more of a villager. I, now, granted, I don't know what the hell anybody is saying, you know, because I don't speak Tamil. But uh, I feel it. And they leave me alone. I'm not in, in. I'm not involved in any village drama. I'm not involved in any Orville drama. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I understand what these people are going through. I can, I can see very clearly because I've lived on both sides the dichotomy between how Orville is living and how these people are living. Orville doesn't even know these people exist. What my favorite thing about this place is that Orvillians will never wander through this place. They'll never like act. They'll never stumble upon me. You know what I mean? You gotta like make a conscious decision. This is so me. interesting because I, I was telling you earlier. I, I feel like when I've traveled, I always meet my peoples, people mm. of my my uh, extended tribe, mm. and it, maybe it's just one person. I just always meet somebody of my mentality, of, of my sensibility. Mm. You know. So you're living like I'm sort of weirdly living in South Africa because I'm, I'm the only American within miles, <laughs> kilometers, you know what yeah. I mean? And, then, and then I live in a village and they will eat it. Uh, da, da. It's, it's very interesting, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, well let, let me go just back to or for, for, for just a second. Uh, so if you're an outsider coming, but you, you say you can be embraced pretty good, let's go back to the education system because mm -hmm. um, this is for uh, really... Take this yeah, for, 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 for a friend of mine, just to, so, so they can see what's going on. And uh, this whole thing, also, remember, everybody's got a scooter or a motorbike, so even as the, the kids are running around in motorbike, they learn how to how to see, drive. I think with. the youngest kid I ever said. Now, or Orville people tend to not do this so much. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I've seen some things in Orville too, but like generally, Tamil people, they they really, I just say like they really believe in reincarnation. Like you, you, <laughs> you and me, it's like a it's a theory. For them, it's like they're. You know what I mean? I'll let you answer that. You know. <laughs> okay, we are uh, talking to Malcolm. He's uh, doing his doing his thing. 
a, 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 a transplanted, you know, Queens person. Oh, yeah, yeah, person. I'm near Portus. Portus, I'm near. Don't, don't hold that against him. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I mean, him Portus. being from you Queens, the, you know. Uh, I'm from the Bronx, line. he's from Queens, Portus. but, you no, know, we, we, we meet, you know. Here's the other thing is that... Uh, Portus is the best, yeah. He people say, somebody said, okay. you know, oh, there's an American here, so they always hook you up. That's that's kind of interesting, like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, so, so, I'm like the, I'm like the, the welcome committee for every, every black person that comes do, do a lot of black people do a lot of? Not no, really. No, no. They don't know about like, You might get like once a year. Really? Straight up. Straight up. I th here's what I thought. I thought, wow, I found this I found this spot. You know, I thought there would be somebody. First of all, because I thought I, I'm arrogant. I thought I thought we was everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. not true. So I came here. I'm the only one. And I was like, okay, that just means I beat the flood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll beat the flood. Is the word is if I click, because I'm not even, I'm not even, I wasn't even tapped into anything. So I was like, if I found it, we about to. All right, let me just wait, make my little life, man. Nah, bro. No, you might, you might just be ahead of the curve. You might, you best maybe years ahead of the curve. You never can tell what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's but. what I say. That's why if you look at my WhatsApp. My thing is ancestor of my kind. Mm -hmm. That's what I am, man. I don't. I don't it's <laughs> whoever, I'm, whoever my tribe is, I think they. They swimming in somebody nutsack right now. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm super early for a lot of this crap, man. I'm not even late. I thought maybe I was late. I was like, did they leave? Nah, they just ain't. And I, and and I can't even really because of what my experience has been. I I can do a good job because I'm a poet, but I can't explain why this place is good for me. I can't like I can't like give it to someone. I can say it, but I can't like, you know, truly give it. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, we we talked a little bit, and uh, we'll talk to you another hey, time. 